All right. Once again, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukar Kodash. Double honors be unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. To all the archaeums worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GMS that come. Just bring out a quick edification to the Spirit of the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. My edification today's topic is stay focused on the road ahead. That's for your, all your archaeums out there. Stay focused because we know that we are living in a kingdom which is Esau kingdom, the Edomites, so called white man, and they have set up a foundation of wickedness in this kingdom. Whereas it's very difficult to men on the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, to pass by and not be part of it sometimes. So they have set up all sorts of laws, all sorts of abominations. Because you clearly can see that this kingdom is wicked. The wicked laws, the wicked uh, people every day, the wicked acts that people are doing and they just neutralize it. And, you know, when I say neutralize it, just have it like a, a modern day everyday thing where back then, you know, your parents or forefathers or grandmothers or great great grandmothers would have taught you certain principles in life. And now, these wicked people and them just have everything like it's supposed to be a norm. Like it's a normal thing to do this wickedness and stuff now. Hey, the wickedness of the people now clearly surpass all the mango more. You know? Or you invent a new type of wickedness, you know. So I'll start off with Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. We had to stay focused in this kingdom. We had to stay focused on the prize. Yeah, how about Shem and Shai? Coming back to deliver his people. Who mainly make up of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native, you make up the house of Israel. You are the Israelites. And that, um, Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now it is night time, it's high time, Salakia, to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yeah, our salvation is nearer than we believe. Look at the times. We know World War Three is right around the corner coming. Russia against America, China against America. You know, it's a confusion going on. We've seen race wars. We've seen famine, pestilence. We've seen gruesome deaths. We know that the hour shy right around the corner coming. Our salvation is near at hand. And we all know salvation is only for the Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. Mainly make up the house of Israel, but overall it's for Israel. The stock of Abraham, that chosen people that came out of Abraham down. It comes back down to the sea, that salvation. So living in this kingdom could be stressful. And then it could be joyous at times to see for, for our, our, our prophecies being fulfilled. I mean, we, we live in this world, but we don't have to be of this world, you know, that kind of way. Yeah, it's salvation in that hand. Uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Hey, brothers, you have to stay focused out here. You have to love one another and be focused. You can't slumber sleep right now. Right now, it's time to sharpen up that sword. Get ready for war. Um, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 19 to 20. Lay up, lay not up your, for yourself treasures upon it, where mud and rust do corrupt, and where teeth break you and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither mud nor rust do corrupt, and where teeth do not break you nor steal. Yeah, lay up your treasures in heaven. And by doing that, you go out and do the works on the highways and byways. Preach about this wicked kingdom. Show Israel the transgressions. Keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. And mainly, love the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai with all thy heart and soul. Love your brother. Love your brother. Real important love. Real important. That is heaping up your treasures. Don't try to heap on the treasure down here. 
Even though you may have treasure down here, don't care about it. You ain't treasure that care about the most I have a shame and shy. The Lord says and commandments. Put those in your heart. Because wherever your heart is, that's, that, that's where your God is. Galatians chapter 5. Verse um, 16 to 26. And we say, This I say them, walk in a spirit that he shall not fulfill the loss of the flesh. Now we all know the spirit constantly war against the flesh and the flesh against the spirit. But walk in the spirit. Walk in the most high hand wash shy. Walk in the law, sassy, and commandments. Walk in the brotherhood. Walk in doing the works. For the flesh, lusting against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other. That, that he cannot do the things that he would. Yeah, because once you, once you entertain in those two companies, you're going to have some problems happening upstairs. Only one company you want to entertain and the most I have a shame and shy spirit within you. Stay focused on that road. Don't lose track. Because anytime you take your eyes off that road, you find yourself in a whole lot of sinful acts, fornication, adultery. Thinking about things you shouldn't. With 18, but if you be led of the spirit, you are under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lavishlessness, and idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emol emolations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and such like, of which you tell, which I tell you before. Yeah, so... Anytime you're going against that flesh, you're going to fall under one of these, these sinful acts. But you ain't want to be falling under one of these sinful acts in this kingdom. The door closing. As Pastor Taha says sometimes, you know, the door probably closed already. The elect probably seal. Who knows? And I, as I have also told you in the past, that they which do such things, shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Yeah. And they that are Mashiach have crucified the flesh with affections of and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of being glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Stay focused on the prize Akim. It's a serious battle we're fighting. This is one of the greatest battles to fight, or greatest battle a man could ever fight in his life. A spiritual battle a good. Good over evil. And the evil is Esau kingdom. Because look at look at look at your people out there. Look at the average two thirds out there. Look even men who are in the truth fall back into this kingdom. Hey, there's a real wicked evil kingdom we live in. And this is a serious battle we fighting. To slumber and sleep. This ain't no time to be sleeping. It's a serious spiritual battle. And as a workman and a soldier, if you ain't keep your, your gun clean and keep your, 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 your target at sight, your enemies will creep up on you and you find yourself bathing in sin and then asking yourself, have you reached so far? Be careful, Akim. 
Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13. But he that shall endure it unto the end, the same shall be saved. Hey, this is no one foot in, one foot out kind of race thing, you know. This is either you're in or you're out, you know. Either you want salvation or you want damnation, you know. Is that you want to be under Yahweh Hashem Yerushai kingdom or you be under Esau wicked kingdom, you know? Is that you want to enjoy it now and eat your hard bread or you go in an Esau kingdom and eat sweet cakes, you know? But either way or the other, the most I have Hashem Yerushai coming back for you people and he coming back to judge this wicked ass kingdom. Stay focused on the road. The road is a rough one. It's a rough terrain, but rather walk through that rough terrain to reach a salvation than walk through a nice, sweet path and reach a destruction, you know. So with that, I want to say Shalom. Give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yishai, to all the Akians worldwide. I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from EGMSShare.com. Just bring out a quick identification for your spirit and the Mosai Yahweh Hashem Yishai. For the whole for the lack out there. Yeah. We know that this kingdom is wicked. And you want destruction on this wicked kingdom. More righteousness. More love. Time for me to get out of this place. Shalom.